Well, hello there, and welcome back to another episode of Cocktails with Kira. My name is Kira, and I'm a whiskey loving Irish gal who's on a cocktail voyage of discovery. If you are new here, I have zero bar experience other than a passion for making cocktails at home and showing you how I do it. So stick around, and we both might learn something because if I can do it, you can do it. In today's video, we are going to be doing another comparative taste test. I am going to be making two similar versions of one of my favorite whiskey cocktails, the Whiskey Sour. The reason that I am making two different versions of the Whiskey Sour today is because recently I made a Whiskey Sour for the very first time with something called Aquafaba. Aquafaba is more commonly known as chickpea juice and when someone first told me that I could use chickpea juice in a Whiskey Sour, I didn't really know what to think. It's really not something that I associate with a cocktail. If you watched one of my recent vlogs where I went to County Clare, I made a heap of whiskey sours for some of my friends using aquafaba and it actually went quite well. But I figure that the only way to properly figure out whether I personally prefer an egg white or aquafaba in my whiskey sours would be to do a scientific test using an egg white whiskey sour as a control and an aquafaba whiskey sour and then comparing the two. So that my friends is exactly what I'm here to do today. I am going to make both cocktails with exactly the same ingredients, the same whiskey with the same method. I'm going to shake them for the same amount of time and the only difference is going to be one is going to be with egg white and one is going to be with chickpea juice and then I will be able to figure out which I personally prefer. So if you are someone who like me was very wary at the thought of using chickpea juice in a beautiful whiskey cocktail then just bear with me. We will go through the journey together and we'll see how we get on. Now, as always, I am someone who likes to know a little bit of history about the cocktails that I'm drinking, and the whiskey sour has actually been around for a really long time. So before I get into the history of this classic cocktail and show you the two different versions that you can make at home, I would like to take a second to tell you about my Patreon. It is not only a way for you to support my channel, but you can also avail of exclusive content and see the footage that is just too tipsy for YouTube. So let's quickly touch on the history of the whiskey sour. As you know, the whiskey sour is typically an egg white cocktail and using egg whites in cocktails is not actually as new an invention as some people might think. It's actually been around for a really long time and dates all the way back to the 17th century. Now the oldest recorded mention of the whiskey sour dates all the way back to the 1870s. So even the whiskey sour is a very, very old cocktail. However, this sour style of cocktail originally derives from long sea journeys and and again, we're coming back to the typical historical connotation of cocktails being medicinal. This is how pretty much all cocktails started. They were medicinal concoctions. So when we think about long sea journeys where you had a huge amount of people on a boat, you're trying to keep them you know, healthy, things like scurvy are rampant. There really isn't a big supply of fresh vegetables or fruit. Even fresh, clean drinking water is in very, very short supply. Sailors would essentially be given a watered down mixture of alcohol which had citrus juices in it which would help combat things like scurvy but it would also make the water safer to drink. Things like rum would have been used a lot obviously it being derived from sugar cane and being plentiful at the time. Eventually this concept of the sour was brought ashore and different liquors began to be incorporated with this method so obviously the US being massive fans of whiskey they started to make whiskey sours and thus the original iteration of the whiskey sour was born. All right, so that is enough history talk. Let's touch on the ingredients for a whiskey sour and we can discuss the egg white debate. Despite how fancy it looks, the whiskey sour is actually comprised of very simple ingredients and many of them will probably be in your kitchen already. We're going to start with our whiskey. I'm going to be using bullet bourbon for this cocktail. You can use rye as well and it is lovely, but for this one I'm going to use bullet bourbon, which is 
a bourbon that I absolutely love. To give it that tart sweetness, we're also gonna be including some freshly squeezed lemon juice. We are also gonna be using some simple syrup. This is super easy to whip up. I will leave the info in the description below. We are also gonna be using some of my absolute favorite Luxardo Maraschino cherries for a garnish. And then that brings us to the foaming agent in the cocktail. So traditionally, people use an egg white to achieve this. Now, some people are nervous at the thought of adding an egg white in their cocktail either because they are vegan or because they are worried about the bacteria but if you are working with fresh eggs that you're keeping refrigerated the chances of contracting salmonella through your whiskey sour are extremely slim so for those of you who are in that category we have a fabulous alternative in the form of chickpea juice chickpea juice which is also known as aquafaba is the leftover cooking liquid from canned chickpeas and i know it doesn't sound that appealing it really didn't to me but it seems to mimic exactly the qualities of an egg white in cooking. And that's the reason why it is used in cocktails, it's used in desserts to make mousses, creams, even sauces. I'm gonna make the two cocktails in exactly the same way. I'm gonna shake them for the same amount of time so I will be able to give a proper opinion as to which one I personally prefer. All right, so enough chit chat, let's get to it and start making these whiskey sours. I'm going to start by adding in our egg white slash chickpea juice. I'm going to try and separate the egg white. I've been lucky doing this before, but it is a little bit tricky. So let's give it a go. Okay. So these are fresh eggs, so it shouldn't be too difficult. And you're basically just tipping the egg white over and back. Okay, that actually worked quite well. Okay, so our egg white is in. Now it is time to get our chickpea juice. Honestly, it feels so weird opening a can of chickpeas to make a cocktail, but honestly, you just have to trust the process and get your head around it. One thing that I do dislike about using chickpeas in cocktails is that smell that you get when you open the can of chickpea juice. It is less than enticing. So I'm going to try and put in the same amount of aquafaba as we have egg white. Yeah, that seems good. Now we have our egg white and our aquafaba. Let's add in the lemon juice next. Now we're gonna go for freshly squeezed lemons, roughly half a freshly squeezed lemon. It's gonna be about 30 mils. Yeah, I think that is spot on. So in with 30 mils on top of our egg white. Give that a good squeeze. This squeezer is so satisfying. Now that you've had no mishaps with your egg white, it is safe to add in your bourbon. So I'm gonna go in with 60 mils of bullet. In we go. I'm going to do a dry shake with both of these just to aerate everything. And then I'm gonna go in with ice and do our proper shake. I can already tell this video is gonna tire me out. Let's get our egg white, do the exact same thing. With all the excitement, I forgot to add my simple syrup. So I'm gonna go in with 15 mils in both. But I'm gonna add ice into both of them. And then we're gonna do some serious shaking. I don't even know if I'm ready for this. Let's give this a good slap to seal it. Whew. Okay, right. Let's do the second one. Give it equally as much gusto. People do this all night in bars. I think I've shaken them enough. <laughs> Let's strain them into our glasses and see how we get on. In this one, we have our egg white. In this one, we have our aquafaba. I have shaken them the same amount of time. So let's see which one has a bigger head. Just from opening them, I can see that the aquafaba one has like a denser head. The foam is like thicker. We'll see how that looks when we actually strain it in. <sighs> Trying to get the last bit of foam. So just by looking at them, you can definitely see that the Aquafaba Whiskey Sour has a lot more head on it. The foam is definitely denser. The Egg White Whiskey Sour, which I did put just as much effort in shaking, is still perfect. It just reaches just below the line of the glass, but it's not as foamy. More importantly is how they taste. So really quickly, just before we serve, I'm just gonna do a cherry garnish because you know it's my absolute favorite. Let's bring them over to the Dr. Evil chair, try them and figure out this once and for all. It's time for the taste test. We have our two whiskey sours. We've got our first one here, which is an egg white. And then we have our second one here, which is the aquafaba. The aquafaba whiskey sour is legit spilling over the edge. So I'm gonna need to be really careful. So I'm gonna get started with the aquafaba one. Oh, I do love a whiskey sour. Oh, 
It's just so delicious. So let's try the classic egg white whiskey sour next. Oh, that is very good as well. As I suspected, they taste so similar. This one with the aquafaba does not taste like chickpea at all. This one has no taste of egg in it whatsoever. They both taste amazing. I really can't tell that much of a difference. It's kind of like splitting hairs. So then it comes to an issue of convenience. It is definitely easier to work with chickpea juice than it is to work with eggs. Another reason why chickpea is easier is if you're making batches of cocktails and a whiskey sour is definitely something I love to whip up for people. The aquafaba does make a better head. It's kind of retained its shape a little bit better as well. I would say for convenience, I will probably be making my whiskey sours with aquafaba rather than egg whites because it's just less faff, it's easier. It is now that time in the video where I can sit back, enjoy the fruits of my labor and I can answer some of your Patreon questions. I recently launched my Patreon and I've been having so much fun with it and it is the perfect way to answer some of your questions in the video. So I have a question here from Terence Scott and Terence asks, how did the trial opportunity come about. How do you feel about the legend status you've earned in the Tri community? Let me just take a sip and I'll think about that. <laughs> Well, Terence, I will answer the first part of that question first. It kind of came about by a chance meeting. So I met Sean, who is one of the Tri producers. He's so lovely. And I met him at a YouTube event. It was actually so long ago now. And I remember we were chatting about the different projects that we were involved in. I ended up bumping into him a few months later at a cinema event. It was something that he was working on and we got chatting again. And then he mentioned about contributing. I had it in my head and then left it to the wayside for, I don't know how many months. I think part of the reason why I followed up with it was because I ended up meeting Clissair, who I recently collaborated with on my channel. We had so much fun and Clissair was also contributing with them and she mentioned how much fun she was having. So it was through those two meetings with Clissair and Sean that I actually ended up coming in for my first shoot with them and the rest is history. And as for the second part of your question, Terence, I find the whole thing really amusing. It's very fun. Everyone who I've tried with, I have such a ball with, and I think everyone has their own thing to offer. And it's just such a positive experience for me. It's such crack. So there you have it. That is my two ways of making a whiskey sour. I hope that if you are someone who was very dubious about using chickpea juice, that maybe I've convinced you to give it a try. Um, if you are a purist and you wanna to stick to your egg white cocktails, that is absolutely absolutely fine too. Let me know in the comments which side you're on or if you have any other ways of making a whiskey sour. I'd love to hear that as well. If you liked this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more cocktail recipes, I will link a playlist up here. I have so many other cocktails that you can make at home. And if you have not already, then be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every single week and I would love to have you back for more. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next one. Cheers.